Canada has had a first look at what the UK's first urban wind farm will look like when it's built in Hull. The development of 20 turbines along the A63 features a new design that operates silently in built-up areas. And as Victoria Whitton has been finding out, the development is actually being welcomed by locals. These animations are a first glimpse at wind farms of the future. The turbine's egg-whisk-like design means they can operate near to buildings in built-up areas, and a site along the Clyde Sullivan Way in Hull has just been granted planning permission to build 20 turbines that will feed the national grid. This is the first sort of micro wind farm in the country. It's a bit of a risk for us because it's on our, our site, but when we looked at the designs, and obviously we've already, already got two, and you don't even really know, notice they're there. So, so the site adjacent, obviously containing 20, we, we really don't think it's an issue. And neither do the people living on the Summer Grove housing development just a stone's throw away. When the company sought planning consent for the first turbine, 30 people objected to its construction. But the full farm went through 12 months later with the full support of locals. The residents were initially concerned by the noise, but their fears were soon put to rest with the installation of the first two turbines. On this site, what you can actually hear is the traffic going along the busy A63, industrial sounds from the units around us, but the turbines, they're generating 8,000 kilowatts of energy an hour, almost silently. They're quite pretty, if you want to say pretty, but no, I'm fine with it. Yeah, they look fine. They're not the huge 25, 40 metre things, you know, that you usually sit here, hear about, like. Well, I've never heard them, actually, so, I mean, I can't complain about the noise at all. The micro wind farm will be built in the spring, and if all goes well, it could be the first of many. Victoria Whitten. For more